Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, last time we entered Bowser's Castle and got to his uh, Doors of Fun. We went through two of these doors which contain both action stages. And now we're going to enter the other doors and see what we can find. Um, well, since we've taken care of uh, all of the even numbers except two, let's go ahead and do two and see what's behind here, which is one of the puzzle games. Hey, 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 it's me, the Quiz Master, and it's quiz time! Need an explanation? No, I know how to play trivia. But yeah, basically you have to answer a series of trivia questions. Uh, what's the first monster you see in Pipe Vault? That would be a Sparky. Where was the third star piece found? Moleville. The boy getting his picture taken at Mary Moore can't wait till which season? Ski season. What was Mallow asked to get for Frog Fuchsius? A cricket pie. The boy at the inn in Mushroom Kingdom was playing with what? A Game Boy. A virtual boy. Yeah, a lot of people played with that. Uh, Dr. Topper, what is the fourth selection on the menu screen? Uh, I believe that's Equip. What color is the end of Dodo's beak? I believe it's red. What does Balome really like to turn people into? Scare cr ice cream cones. And there we go. That's actually the first uh, part of the puzzle section. There are two more parts to it, though, so it's not over yet. <clears throat> now we have the barrel counting section, where you actually have to count the number of barrels on screen. Now, don't count them yet. Okay, there are 14 barrels there. But that's just the warm up. We have a more difficult puzzle right here. Okay, so we have 20 seconds on this one. Here we go. Okay, I think there's 45 there. Yes, alright. So yeah, that's it for the barrel counting section. And finally we have this section, which is... kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and let him speak and say what's happening here. Now for something completely different. Heh. Boo, Goo, Bones, and Kip competed in a triathlon. The triathlon includes swimming, cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came in. Listen well. You're only going to hear the story once. So we have to talk to these guys, so let's talk to this guy first. I fell in the fourth place during the bike race, but finally ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. Okay. I came in third for swimming. I outrode Boo on my bike, and Boo was never able to pass me. I placed in the same in the swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. Okay, so from what we've gathered here, Kip definitely came in third. Because he said he got third. Two others beat him in the marathon total. So that's what happened there. So he's third. Goomba didn't give us very much, so we'll say that he came in last. Boo said, I fell in the fourth place during the bike race, but ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. Okay, fair enough. But you said he outrode Boo on his bike, and Boo was never able to pass him. So, Bones definitely beat Boo. And we know this guy came in third overall. And you came in last, so... Yeah, I think that's the whole story. Call me the master. Okay, go and talk to them in the order they came in and return here. Okay. So, you came in first. You came in second. You came in third. 
And finally, you came in last. Now let's talk to Dr. Topper. Yes. And we got it, all right. Okay, so there we go. That's how that works, and for doing that, we get our prize, which is a rock candy. Which we have plenty of, by the way, but... <laughs> oh, jeez, what am I going to do with all these things? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the max mushroom, why not? So, let's keep going. And we have one more door to choose. I would do a viewer poll, but that'd be kind of stupid right now. Uh... Let's go for three, I guess. Let's go for three. Which is the battle course. Okay, so I'm not sure what to expect here because there are two battle courses, obviously. There's an easy version and a hard version. The hard version features new enemies. The easier one features like a lot of enemies from World 5 and World 6 and then some enemies from here, too. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. Uh, do I want to use this party? Yeah, I'll use it for right now, anyway. I'll probably switch off soon. Okay, so we actually got the easier one. So, that's nice. We got the easier one. Anyway, here is Toadstool's Super Slap. Which basically makes her glove huge. And here is Bowser's final special move. The Bowser Crush! Which, that's awesome, by the way. And here's Mario's final attack, too. Might as well use it while they're still here. Didn't do a lot of damage, though, but they didn't have very much left anyway, so... Not a big deal. So, yeah, that's what we can expect. Uh, generally, some easier enemies on this one. Okay, we have the uh, Malakoopas, which are going to run away immediately. I know, we never actually got a chance to fight those guys. Oh well, not a big deal, I guess. Uh, I'll definitely show off a Toadstool Psych Bomb in the next fight. Assuming they don't run away, and then after that I'll switch to uh, probably Geno and uh, Mallow. Just to get things... Just to get some differences in, in the fighting we'll be doing. Okay, so we have some Big Boos and Orbisons. Uh, let's go ahead and use Toadstool's last special move. I know I still have to show off Mute, but I'll do that later, because uh, there's actually a boss I want to use Mute against. But yeah, that's the Psych Bomb. There's a lot of great damage. Definitely one of the better special attacks in the game. Especially because it's non-elemental. You would think it would be fire, but it's not. But, um... Actually, I'll keep Toadstool for one more. Because now we have Shy Guys. Oh, we have a V of Shy Guys, too. How interesting. And that was also pretty easy. Oh, Shy Guys, you're not difficult at all. So, uh, I am going to switch up my party like I said I would. So, we're going to put Mallow and Gino in. Uh, I will also change the equips, too. I'll give... Uh... Actually, I'll give Ghost Metal to... Actually, no, I'll give Ghost Metal to Gino. I'll give the... I'll give the Jinx Belt to uh, Mario. Because that seems right up his alley, and... Mallow, you can have the signal ring, I guess. And yeah, we'll go with that. And in here we have... Ah, uh, oh, Chewies! And Shyaways, too. Wow. But yeah, like I said, a lot of these enemies are World 5 and 6 enemies. Which we've, you know, obviously seen many times before. And here are the Sonic symbols. Whoa, making me dizzy a little bit, dude. They're really cool, though. Definitely one of my favorite weapons. Not may not be the most powerful weapon in the game, but it is up there. It's Mallow's best, after all. 
Okay, next fight. We're getting through these pretty quickly. Okay, so we have Mr. Kipper and, oh god, we have the Muckles too, so... Uh, don't want to use any special attacks here. Because we might regret that. So instead, we're just going to... Burn these guys with all we have. Plus, since Mr. Kipper is a World 4 enemy, he's not going to be that difficult to take down. And there we go. Very, very simple. Okay, next we have... World 2 enemies. Okay. That's kind of anticlimactic, but whatever. We'll take it. All the way from World 2, it's the Amanitas. They're going to turn one of us into a mushroom. Actually, they won't. Actually, they will. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Did I give Mallow the safety ring or the signal ring? I gave him the signal ring. Wow. I can't believe I did that. I meant to give him this. <laughs> wow, that signal ring wasn't doing anything. I feel like such a doof. Oh, wow. Um... These guys? I actually don't have any information on them yet, because I didn't think they appeared here in Bowser's Castle. So, um, I'll give you guys the bio on these guys later, because, uh, yeah, I forgot you could actually fight them here in Bowser's Keep, but they're basically recolors of the Reaper enemies. And more powerful variations of them, too. So, yeah, that's, uh, something I didn't know. Oh wow, one damage. That did so much. But yeah, for the most part, most of those enemies were World 4 enemies, so yeah, not very difficult. And we have one more room to go. I still have to show off Mallow's uh, last special attack, too. I probably won't do a very good job of it, but I will show it off. After these guys attack. I'm guessing these guys are the... Uh, Pyro Spheres from World 6. But anyway, here is Star Rain. Little bit of overkill, but yeah, that is what Star Rain is. And like Super Jump and Ultra Jump, you can keep it going as long as you keep the timing going. So, yep, that's Star Jump or Star Rain, whatever. Okay, we have a lack of two now. Um, yeah, you fight these guys in World Three. So once again, World Three enemies shouldn't be that much of an issue. Trust me, the enemies in the other battle room are a lot more powerful than this. <laughs> this I promise you. It'd also be nice if Mallow didn't miss like that either. Okay, uh, up here we have... Uh, up oh, Zeostar. I knew this battle was coming. I believe this is the second to last battle, so yeah, we're almost done with this. And we need to go once again. And hooray, we won! Let's see if we can get some double coins or experience, though. Nope. We got zero coins. Oh, well. Not a big deal. And the final battle we have with a shaman. A group of six shaman at that, too. So, uh, I'm gonna try something for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use Geno Flash. Oh, 
I want to see if this does anything, because it is not elemental, but it probably won't. Yeah. But they'll all run away. Or not all of them. Two of them ran away. Not quite all of them, though. The other three are going to attack us. And there we go, that's it for the first battle room. Again, we'll do the other battle room later when we come back to Bowser's Keep, so don't worry about that. But anyway, let's move forward. And as you can see, we have a door on the right this time. Before we leave, though, we're gonna get the Star Gun, which is Geno's best weapon. And the scar Star Gun is awesome, by the way. This is probably my favorite weapon. It's just so cool. Like, I love the way it looks. But anyway, let's go through here. It's a trap! Okay, not really a trap, but we have our save point. We're done with the doors for right now, and let's save our game and then move forward. Uh, actually, before we do, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I'll use one of my Caro Caro Colas. Okay, and then I'll save again, just because I didn't do that before. Because we do actually have a boss fight coming up, so let's do that right now. It's a Magikoopa. This is Smithy's Castle. No trespassers allowed. Okay, so here we go. We have Magikoopa. Magikoopa has 1600 HP. Attacks Bolt, Willy Wisp, Blast, Flame Wall, and a special defense against all status ailments. Now, this guy can also summon enemies to help him, and he can summon three different enemies. Uh, one of which I'll go over later, unless it appears in this fight. And the other two, I'm going to go ahead and explain what they are. But uh, two of the enemies, uh, first we have a Jinx clone which is a clone of Jinx, the Dojo Master. It only has 320 HP, and he has base all of Jinx's basic attacks, and for special defenses, uh, special defense to everything except jump. And another um, partner you can get is King Bomb, which is the uh, huge bob -omb that actually blew us up in the Moleville Mines. Uh, if we get that, it has 500 HP, and it has an attack Big Bang, which can actually do a lot of damage to all of your party members, so be careful when that comes, and try to destroy it quickly. And it has a special defense against status ailments, but a weakness to fire and jump. And the last person it can summon is Bahamut, but um, we'll see that enemy later, because uh, it actually appears in the battle room, so uh, I'll go over that then. Again, unless he brings it out here. Who knows, though, I might actually defeat this guy before he does anything, because you can do a lot of damage to this guy. This guy doesn't have very much physical defense. In fact, we might even kill him before he brings out anybody. Okay, here we go. What are we gonna fight? What are we gonna fight? Okay, this is Bahamut, the uh, enemy I was talking about. Uh, we'll fight this guy again, but I'll go ahead and do his intro now, just because he appeared. Uh, Bahamut has 1,200 HP, attacks Iron Mated and Drain, and a special defense against Fire, Sleep, and Fear, but a weakness to Ice, and, well, Mallow has a nice attack, so we can easily deal with him then. And uh, also, you can't attack Magikoopa during this. You have to destroy his uh, wall first, so... We have to destroy Bahamut first before we can deal damage to Magikoopa. Oh wow, he didn't have that much HP. I guess that variation doesn't have very much HP. Oh wow, um... You know what, he's probably almost dead. Yep, there we go. Okay. That's good. 
So yeah, Magic Koopa has been defeated. And you hear that music? So this is actually Bowser's Magic Koopa, who was actually uh, turned evil by a smithy's spell. So Magic Koopa is actually going to help us out majorly in more than one way. First, he's going to give us this treasure chest. This magic treasure box will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. I'll be here if you need me. Come by whenever you need to rejuvenate your HP and magic. So, that's the second thing this guy can do. He can actually heal us, which is very, very well appreciated. And then also, we have this magic box with an endless amount of coins. Um, You only get one coin every time you hit it, so... It's not that useful, but... I do have to get a lot of coins for this next part, so uh, I am going to spend a little time here uh, in between videos, of course, because over here in this room we have Croco again, and it's worth running into him here because he actually sells the best armors of the game, and I only need to buy three of them, so I'll buy the Hero Shirt, the Prince Pants, and the Star Cape. Uh, again, I'm not giving Bowser his armors because the work pants are better than all of his armors combined for whatever reason and the royal dress I'm not gonna buy that cuz uh, at the end of the game Toadstool is gonna have the uh, lazy shell on so yeah that's why I'm not gonna get those items but yeah there we go we're all stocked up and we're ready for the next part of the game uh, in between videos I'll probably stack up on some coins and uh, I'll also get my equipment ready because we're about to take on not one, but two more bosses before we finish with Bowser's Keep. And then after that I'll come back and then do the last two uh, door rooms that I haven't gone through yet. And then uh, we'll be done with this area. So uh, this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. I'll be here farming coins. See you guys next time.